you can see one light is out there at the top and just a quick walking tour of the lights along the outside of our building. Um, the main issue with these is the location of the ones that are on the fascia uh, isn't protected by the roof at all. So water runs uh, over top of those boxes. So even an outdoor light, once the seal is uh, bad, will we'll damage that, those lighting circuits. two breakers feed the five water lights in the pool. The lower one serves the light on the right-hand side and the one in the diving well, and this breaker trips periodically. This is a tour of the pole lights and the water lights. In the background, you can see the 15-foot pole that I'm pointing at there, and then there's another one here on the right. Um, there are four more like that around the pool. This little junction box here is tied in to the water lights and there are several more like it. Uh, behind the guard chair, about 10 feet off the pool, and I'm pointing to it now, is another junction box that ties into the water lights. And then there's another one between the pool and the pavilion that ties into that light. And then beneath those flags along the fence line, there's a little junction box that ties into that light. We haven't been able to find which circuit breaker feeds the pole lights. The good news is, as the video shows, the pole lights are on a conduit that's mainly above ground. Um, not sure actually where the conduit is under the concrete to tie back to the breaker panel, um, but they are on a separate loop from the water lights as the white conduit shows here. And I kind of stop and give you a close up so you can see that this junction box that's behind the fence is the one that serves the water light under the diving board and the conduit that serves the pole lights is completely separate. These are the switches inside the guard room. It's at the corner of our main building. Uh, the timer is the box on top, and then there are a series of switches beneath that. The five lights in the pool, the water lights, are fed from one switch, and that switch is fed from two breakers in the panel. Might be disconnected as far as I know. Not quite sure what this junction box does, but its location, like some of the lights, uh, promotes water running off of the roof uh, right into the box.